Whoa there, hold on to your brainwaves, because what I'm about to tell you might just shatter your understanding of reality. Imagine, for a moment, a thought, floating, unattached, with no one to claim it. Is that even possible? Can thoughts exist without a thinker? Hey everyone, and welcome back to Vera News, the channel where we unravel the universe's most mind-bending mysteries. Today, we're diving headfirst into a question that has puzzled philosophers and scientists for centuries. Can thoughts truly exist independently of a thinking mind? Prepare to have your perceptions challenged because the answer, backed by cutting-edge science, is far more bizarre and fascinating than you could ever imagine. For most of human history, the idea has been simple. Thoughts are products of the brain. You think, therefore you are. Descartes had a good run with that one. But what if I told you that the lines between thinker and thought are blurrier than we ever conceived? What if, in some profound and unexpected ways, thoughts do exist beyond the confines of our individual skulls? Let's start with the basics, neuroscience. Our thoughts are, at their core, electrochemical signals firing across intricate neural networks. Billions of neurons, trillions of connections. When you think of a red apple, Specific neurons activate in a specific pattern. When you remember your first kiss, another pattern. This seems pretty straightforward, right? Thoughts are undeniably generated within the brain. But here's where it gets weird. Think about a complex mathematical equation, say E equals MC squared. Albert Einstein thought of it. But did he create it in the same way he might build a sandcastle? Or did he discover something that already existed, an inherent truth about the universe waiting to be revealed? This isn't just philosophical navel-gazing. This idea resonates with some of the most mind-bending theories in physics and cognitive science. The quantum entanglement of thought? Let's venture into the bizarre world of quantum mechanics. You've heard of quantum entanglement, right? Two particles linked in such a way that the state of one instantaneously influences the state of the other no matter the distance. It's like they share information without any physical connection. Now, imagine if thoughts, or at least the potential for certain thoughts, were similarly entangled in the fabric of reality. This is a highly speculative but incredibly intriguing concept. While there's no direct scientific proof of quantum entanglement of thoughts as a widely accepted theory, some fringe theories in quantum consciousness explore how quantum phenomena might play a role in the emergence of consciousness and thought, suggesting a deeper connection to the universe than mere neural firings. For example, Roger Penrose and Stuart Hameroff's orchestrated objective reduction, ORC theory, proposes that consciousness arises from quantum computations within microtubules in neurons. While controversial, it hints at a connection between the micro-level of reality and our subjective experience. The Platonic Realm of Ideas With a Scientific Twist Ancient philosophers like Plato believed in a realm of perfect, eternal forms or ideas that existed independently of the physical world. Our earthly experiences were merely imperfect reflections of these perfect forms. For centuries, this was dismissed as pure philosophy, unprovable. But what if, in a modern scientific sense, there's a computational equivalent? Consider the concept of emergent properties. When you combine simple elements in complex ways, entirely new, unpredictable properties can emerge. Water molecules are just H2O, but put enough of them together and you get wetness, flow, surface tension, properties not present in individual molecules. Could thoughts, or at least the patterns and relationships that constitute them, be emergent properties of the universe itself, not solely dependent on a biological brain? Think about mathematical truths. Is the concept of 2 plus 2 equals 4 something we invented or something we discovered? 
Most mathematicians would argue the latter. The relationship exists independently of any human mind. It's a fundamental truth of logic and quantity. The collective unconscious and beyond. Carl Jung, the renowned psychologist, proposed the concept of the collective unconscious. He believed that humans share a common reservoir of experiences, archetypes, and inherited ideas, passed down through generations. These aren't personal memories, but universal patterns that influence our thoughts and behaviors. While Jung's theories are more psychological than purely neurological, they suggest a form of shared, pre-existing mental landscape that can shape individual thoughts. This isn't thoughts existing without a thinker in the most literal sense, but it implies a shared, underlying framework for thought that predates any individual's conscious experience. But let's push this even further. Consider the information-theoretic universe hypothesis. Some physicists, like John Wheeler, propose that information, not matter or energy, is the fundamental building block of reality. If the universe is fundamentally information, and our thoughts are essentially complex arrangements of information, then in a very abstract sense, the raw material for thoughts could be seen as inherent in the universe itself. This doesn't mean thoughts are just floating around like cosmic dust buddies. It means that the potential for certain thoughts, the underlying informational structures that allow for thought, might exist independently. Our brains, then, become incredibly sophisticated antennas, receivers, and processors of this information, giving it form and subjective experience. The brain as a receiver, not just a generator. Imagine your brain not just as a generator of thoughts, but also as a highly sophisticated receiver, like a radio tuned to different frequencies. Could there be thought frequencies out there, waiting for a conscious mind to tune in and give them form? This idea, though highly speculative and bordering on the metaphysical, has been explored in various spiritual traditions and even some philosophical discussions of consciousness. While not scientifically proven, it offers an intriguing perspective on the brain's role. Think about breakthroughs. How often do scientists, artists, and innovators describe their ideas as coming to them or downloading rather than a laborious construction? Nikola Tesla famously spoke of receiving ideas directly from the cosmic mind. While poetic, it speaks to a feeling of discovering rather than inventing. The future of thought, AI and beyond. And what about the future? As AI becomes more sophisticated, we are creating machines that can process information, learn, and even generate novel ideas. Are these AI-generated thoughts truly thoughts, even without a biological thinker in the human sense? If an AI writes a poem that moves you or solves a problem with a novel approach, where did that thought originate? Is it merely a complex algorithm, or is it a glimpse into a new form of non-biological thought? This is a frontier that will force us to redefine what a thinker truly is, and whether thought can exist in forms we've yet to fully comprehend. The verdict, for now. So, can thoughts exist without a thinker? The answer like most profound questions, isn't a simple yes or no. No in the traditional sense of conscious, subjective experience. Our individual thoughts, with their unique qualia and feelings, undeniably arise within our individual brains. But, yes, in a profound and emerging scientific sense, the underlying informational structures, the mathematical truths, the universal patterns that enable thought, and potentially even certain emergent properties of reality, may exist independently of any single conscious mind. Our brains might be more like highly advanced interpreters and manifestors of these pre-existing potentials. This journey into the nature of thought is far from over. As neuroscience, quantum physics, and AI continue to advance, we are constantly pushing the boundaries of what we understand about consciousness and reality itself. 
the mystery is still unfolding, and perhaps, just perhaps, the universe itself is thinking, and we are but a small part of its grand unfolding thought. What do you think? Do thoughts exist independently? Or are we the sole architects of our mental landscapes? Let me know in the comments below. And if your mind was just as blown as mine, make sure to like this video, subscribe to Very Nose for more mind-bending explorations, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next dive into the unknown. Until next time, keep questioning everything and keep exploring the very noose of existence.